Hello, my name is Donna Goodell. That's Donna with an H. D-H-O-N-N-A. I am however old you need me to be for the role of V. My telephone number is 631-369-9581. That's 631-369-9581. An alternate number, 516-639-5001. I didn't spill none. Didn't you spill anything? What I said. That looks vile. It looked blue, but it tastes like red. Blue and red are colors, not flavors. Well, it's tasty. I like me something tasty. Especially on days like now, people only want the babies. That's right, because babies are cute. Sure, I'm cute. No, you're not. You're big. You got nick-nappy hair. You want too much. You're over-eager. You're too black. And now your mouth is blue. But I guess it tastes like red. You nasty. Honey, I call them as I see them, okay? Oh, and by the way, um, is there a little group home in the neighborhood? How you know I live in a group home? Oh, honey, you got a group home written all over. You a hot mess, okay? But, you know what? I got him my business. Oh shit. You will connect. I'm a businesswoman, all right, baby? I handle my business. You need to handle yours, okay, little girl? Oh, and by the way, I was quite impressed with your mathematical skills. I also know pie. Your big ass look like you like pie. Not pie, pie. Up to 56 digits. I memorized by chunks of seven, like phone numbers. My school had a contest and I won the Jolly Ranchers. No one could touch me. Are you interested in learning a new skill? Hell no, not with no connect. I get in trouble, I never find a forever family. Oh, a little tasty. You gotta create your own forever family. You know, if you sit around waiting for a forever family, you'll sit around and die waiting. My name is Tasha. Tasha? No. I think tasty suits you better. Yeah, tasty. It wasn't you who said that people like things that are tasty, right? I gotta go. Oh well, you know, I'm gonna be looking for you little tasty around the neighborhood. Yes, I am. You have a good day now. <laughs> tasty. Mm -hmm. Hey, V, we gotta get Tebow in here. One of these sharks just took out a baby seal. <laughs> One bite, gone. Did, did you do what I told you to do? Yeah, right after you left. Shit, you better snappy as one of these sharks today. You know what, little girl? You know what? I told you I smacked the shit out of you, and I'm not playing. Don't make me take one of my other earrings. Don't make me take the earring off, all right? Now, you're gonna get sassed fast with your other little friends. You can run your little mouth and run your lip, but I will smack the shit out of you. You will respect me. Am I clear? Am I clear? All right. Do you understand? All right. Good. I'm glad we're clear. Nah, V. Actually, this is bullshit, you know? Oh, hell no. We all work hard. You Me? You lost your mind? Maxi, Trans, RGB, I don't like you. You're supposed to you. work hard. You ever tell me doing a good job? You ever say thanks to anyone? Oh, thanks? If it wasn't for me, RJ would be dead by his daddy right now. Is that not thanks enough? And all this gear that you have around here, is that not thanks enough? Let me tell you something, you're a smart little girl. And I like you, yes. But I was doing just fine without any of you because I don't need you. So let's get something very, very clear. Unless any of you got something better to do or another place to go, then all of your little asses better
better do what I tell you to do, when I tell you to do, and how. Am I clear? Yeah. Very good. Am I clear? Yes. Very good. Now, this damn TiVo thing, I don't like this no how. They probably tracking me, tracking me and watching what I'm doing on TV. I don't like that. What? You think they care if you be loving Shark Week? Or is it how I met your mother? You oh, no, girl. Them? Oh, oh. What are you doing? Noticed your breath smelled like dead mice yesterday. Thought you might need that. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the honesty. <laughs> so, uh, I saw dandelion. Hmm. So, yeah, what are you really trying to say? Piper, she hates me. She's dangerous. Hmm. So am I. What? Who? The white girl? The white girl, really, Susan? You know, back in the day, the black women ran this place. We ran this place, and I say women intentionally, not like these little old girls running around here all willy-nilly with a bad-ass attitude. You know, everybody else in here, I see you, Susan. I see you. And you are a smart Brave black woman. And all the other people in here may underestimate you, but not me. So next time you see a uh, dandelion, whatever the hell you call her, you hold your head up high. And you let her know that you are a rose and she ain't nothing but a damn ragweed, okay? Oh, by the way, thanks for these. Yeah, it's good to know I got a friend in here. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Oh, I'm sure there are a few differences. You've been well? I was doing just fine until I landed back in here. All the new drug laws these days. Nasty business. Hmm. You seem to be shocked or surprised to see me in the bathroom yesterday. You're mistaken. I must be. I'm so sorry to see that you're not in the kitchen anymore. Oh, the food must be, hmm, no bueno. Perhaps that will help with your weight. At least black don't crack. You're right. Nothing's changed. Hmm. You know, Red, I'm too old for this shit. I've been here two days and I can already see that the game has changed. It has. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to be here a little while. I'm going to keep my head down. I'm going to read my books, I'm going to mind my business, and do the time that God has intended me to do, because these old bones are tired, and they need some quiet. That sounds nice. Ambitious, but nice. Oh. <laughs>